Well, thank you very much for taking the time to tune into this brief update. And thank you even more so for purchasing copies of Beyond the Walk Around, whether it be audio or print or Kindle versions. And thank you again for the reviews. The reviews have been glowing so far. I'm very excited about that and humbled. Uh, it's a great product. And uh, if you don't have a copy of it or if you're just hearing about it, uh, please go on to Amazon or Audible or what have you and please order a copy or multiple copies for your store. Uh, because of the great response, and there are a lot of fans out there and they're growing, uh, what I've decided to do is launch Hamilton Sales Training. And this is going to be on a different platform than you've probably ever seen in this industry before. And there's a couple of things that separate uh, my training philosophy from mostly everything else. I mean, there's, there's some stores that still um, you know, are the old school type of uh, dealerships, but there's a, there's a lot more that have started to come around a little bit to more consultative, to more customer-centric, that type of thing. I think everybody's trying to go that direction. This will help you, uh, and I'm going to talk about those two big differences, and there's more. Um, but this will be launched in the form of DVDs, uh, other videos, uh, downloadable uh, audio casts, and a lot of material based on the ideas presented in Beyond the Walk Around. So that's kind of the uh, inaugural, inaugural product, easy for me to say, inaugural product of Hamilton Sales Training. Now, what are the differences? Well, we've got a process that's worked for 30, 50 years, and it still works. Uh, but there's nuances, there's intricacies that are different now uh, with the marketplace that's changed over the last few years. And everybody says, well, it really hasn't changed a lot. Well, it really has. And the customers changed a lot, and they're continuing to change, and we have to do that also. The biggest differences is the concept of feign indifference. And feign indifference, uh, basically just let's define it, you know, feign is to pretend and indifference is to have no bias or preference as to whether they, you know, the customer buys a car today or not. And this flies directly in the face of what do I have to do today to sell your car. Now, don't get me wrong, we want to sell the car today, it is a now business, but I guarantee you if you're using the words today or now too early in the process, you're scaring your customers away. So we're going to learn better ways to do that. And uh, it is unique, and it's uh, a bit revolutionary, evolving, and it's something that's uh, really, really neat. So we're going to focus on that. Also, another thing is the technique, or counter-transition close, which prescribes to disagreeing with your customer or countering them uh, relatively frequently. It just depends, again, on the situation, but we're going to go over all those as, as uh, we grow. Uh, but, uh, you know, think about it. Uh, it's taught and it has been taught always agree with your customer absolutely not you, you set up a situation that might make it impossible for them to buy an automobile from you and that's certainly not something that we want to do you want to counter transition and close we're going to talk about how to back off once you do counter but you want to make sure uh, that this is done very skillfully we're going to talk about warm fuzzies wrapping your arms basically uh, figuratively around the customer and making them feel very good about being there uh, after you've just countered them. And uh, again, we want to transition and close. There's a lot of different uh, style changes that uh, you're going to be introduced to. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait. Um, the first video is going to be available uh, very shortly. In fact, probably within the next week. And uh, we're going to move on from there. And the first one's going to deal with feigned indifference and the technique. So that being said, uh, thank you so much again. And I uh, look forward to hearing from you very soon. Take care.